Lord Rasputin, you're still here. I'm sorry, I guess he overslept. Well, you had quite a workout. But no worry, it's not yet noon. Yes? What is it? I have a message from Her Majesty, Empress Alexandra. Is it about tonight's ball? Yes. It begins at nightfall. Her Majesty requests that you arrive in the hall before then. Unfortunately, I will not be attending. I must be at church this evening. Uh, but Her Majesty... Tell her that I will see her tomorrow. Yes, my lord. My, my. Straight out of bed and already an invitation to the royal ball. Well, now since you healed the prince, the empress has come to rely on you. She wants to spend some more time with you. More work to gain the emperor's trust, eh? You won't have to toil much longer. Am I right? Yes, it's time. Time to take the stage as the man who ended the 300-year-old Romanov dynasty. The world will be changed forever. Almost, Your Highness. I just need to test it out now. <laughs> what did you want something like this for all of a sudden? Are you trying to stir up some kind of mischief? Of course not. I'm working for the benefit of Mother Russia, that's all. You mustn't make the Tsar and the Tsarina worry about you, you know. It's fine. My mother is so busy with Alexei that she never even thinks about me. Not that talk again. Your Highness, it's finished. Uh, whoopee! <laughs> Thanks, Edgar! <laughs> Promise me something. 
You must always use the mystic egg and the camera for the cause of good. Of course, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, one more thing, Your Highness. Uh, stay away from Prince Yusupov. That mad monk has been keeping a close watch on him. Excuse me, madame. Welcome to my shop. My watch hasn't been working well. Hmm, that's a rare one. Made in Japan, eh? Just a minute. Are you a Japanese gentleman, then? Yes. I'm on a diplomatic tour of Europe. This is my first time here. It's lovely. Yeah, spring is short but sweet here. Speaking of springs, yours was worn out. I've just replaced it. I'm grateful. War has turned brutal lately. Everyone is worried about the future. Do you think it will continue long? Looks that way. At first, we all thought it would be over by Christmas. Nothing to fear, my dear. Your family will follow soon afterwards. What did you say? Shout as much as you like. No one will come to help you. Kill her.
Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Thank God. Thank. Oh, come on now. Don't make such a big deal about it. What do you mean, big deal? If these folks hadn't helped you, you would have been. I know. I know. I'm grateful already. What's this? It is a gift. Please take it. Huh. Excuse me, miss. If I may, young lady, there's a much more important question than that. Why was that monster trying to kill you anyway? A royal princess's personal business is none of the affair of peasants. Let's just say that in this great big world, there are those who choose to align themselves with the forces of good and battle against the dark forces of evil. Please, uh, forgive her. She's always liked to daydream. Uh, don't take her seriously. I'm not daydreaming anything! Mm -hmm. Well, my dear, it's probably nothing. Nothing to get too worried about. But that monster that attacked you looked a lot like a creature we fought. It was summoned by black magic. A powerful wizard, am I right? Do you know how to use magic too, like Rasputin? 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 Why did you all shout like that? Please say it isn't true! You're not working with that dirty old man! You know... Rasputin? Yes, I know him. Everybody says that. Because of him, my father's government has been completely ruined. Your father's government? Ruined? That's right. Excuse me, does that mean that you are... <sighs> she is Princess Anastasia Romanov. <laughs> Aww. It certainly seems to be the authentic article. Well, we do aim to please. May I consider our negotiations to be completed then? Yes. Whatever may happen within Russia, the goodwill of Japan will extend to whomever the next emperor may be. I'm afraid I'll require more than that. You don't need to worry. I'm the direct representative of the Foreign Minister Kantaro Ishimura. My words may be considered the will of the Emperor. We look forward to establishing joint aviation and communication companies with you. Naturally, we'll shoulder the full cost. By summer, we should be able to supply you with rations and fully modern weapons. Thank you. It sounds good. When do you think I will be able to meet with His Holiness, Lord Rasputin? I'm so sorry. His Holiness is terribly busy. That's fine. Please give the future Emperor my best. Naturally. Whoever takes over the throne will find a true friend in my country.
And so these are the ones who saved the princess from the vicious wild dog. Anastasia, what on earth were you doing out at night? Well, I had an important chore to take care of at Edgar's. You couldn't take care of it tomorrow? No. Nevertheless, even if you did save my daughter's life, we cannot allow strange people to wander around inside the castle. But why? There's nothing wrong with them! How can you be so certain? You would resist me whatever I said. But... <laughs> Why not go easy on her, Empress? Lord Rasputin! Anastasia is at a naturally curious age. <laughs> She's bound to have an adventure or two. Surely it was God's will that she be saved by these kind benefactors. You surprise me, Lord Rasputin. They're clearly travelers from far away. I'm sure they'll be fine companions to the princess. Mm. Very well. Anastasia, you may go with the strangers. I should like to thank you again for saving my daughter's life. Have a pleasant stay in my land. Thank you, Empress. Still alive, I see, little one. So you're Rasputin, eh? Yes. And I've heard of you too, Godslayer. You were behind my familiar's death. Huh? Veronica! Hmm. Long time no see. <laughs> Do you wish to fight here? Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's not. There's no need to get blood all over this lovely church. I'll be in the Lion Shrine to the north. Call on me any time you wish. What's the big deal? I hate that tune. So the ball has begun? It's every night. Every night. There's something wrong with them. This whole country is insane. Maybe it should disappear. Hang on! The people's anger is ready to explode and we pretend nothing's going on. We're like Nero. We keep on fiddling as the world is burning around us. It's the same problem for all leaders. This country has gotten too big. Yep. Hmm. Don't say that. You'll bring us bad luck. That's right. There are a lot of people that still have dreams. I worry. Someday, I'm afraid the people's anger will explode and they'll burn down my palace. He first came to the palace some years ago.
My mother was in anguish over Alexei, born with a rare and painful disease. One day, a man came from Siberia who was said to have great powers of healing. That was the monk, Rasputin. Rasputin healed my brother's illness and earned the trust of my mother. Since then, he has begun to wield greater control over the country. My father himself is a kind man, but he has left too much to his ministers. Their idea of government is one which simply keeps the people oppressed. And anger towards the emperor who allows it is threatening to boil over. Even the war could soon be ended if my father would stand up and be strong. But there are some who profit from war and wish for it to go on forever. If I were a man, I'd be able to help my father. I wish I were in Alexei's place. Anastasia. Russia is infected by a disease. We're a statue too stiff to move. <laughs> I'm half Russian, you know. My mother was born and bred in Russia. Uh, really? Yeah. So don't get so depressed, all right? If the princess gives up, Everyone else will, too. Yuri... When your father comes back, you should talk to him. He'll understand how you feel. He loves you, doesn't he? Yeah. Huh. Something... Strange is going on. Uh, Alexei? Alexei? Where are you? Uh, mother! Alexei, is that you? What's wrong with Alexei? Why are you looking for him? Uh, Alexei! Veronica's behind this, too. She's cast a sleep spell on the entire palace. How do we remove it? Either break the field, or defeat Veronica herself. Listen to me, shithead. I'm coming for you now. Very well. I'll be waiting for you here, God Slayer. Oh. Oh, oh, oh.
please, be a little quieter, princess. So what are you up to, Rasputin? What are you and Sapientes Gladio planning, anyway? I've always admired Napoleon, you see. So you're planning to conquer Europe? If all Russia's resources were properly leveraged, it would be possible. You're insane. Wouldn't it be wonderful? The whole world hearkening to my voice. Each breath of mine, the ocean's tides. It's greedy maniacs like you, Rasputin, that start revolutions and cause innocent people to die. Let me explain something to you. It is the people themselves who cry the loudest for a change in government. <sighs> and I think even you should know that. An unbridgeable gap has opened between the people and the aristocracy. Even without me, the fire of revolution would sooner or later be lit. Shut up! Anastasia! If that's the case, then the less blood spilt, the better. Royal blood alone should be sufficient. Why you? What's wrong, Godslayer? Kill me if you have the courage. Fight me one on one. If you win, I'll give you the prince and princess. Okay. Get ready to lose. <laughs> With your heart cursed by the mistletoe, do you really think you can defeat me? <laughs> How amusing. Is that the best you can do? That was just a warm-up. You'll see. Very well. But now it is my turn. I call on the spirit of the mistletoe. Anastasia! Stop! Hmm. <laughs> uh, Alexei! I'm 
Anastasia! No! It wasn't me! All is well, Your Highness. The prince is unhurt. Just as I thought. Anastasia was being controlled by the stranger's magic. Why you? Guards, arrest them! They tried to assassinate the prince! Damn it! Since we have arrived in Russia, nothing but terrible things have happened here. I was foolish. I... I never expected Rasputin would be so powerful. I was wrong. What was that shield of his? I couldn't even make a dent in it. What are we going to do? They think we've kidnapped the princess. Find us here. Damn. I think that it's time that we left Russia. There was somewhere I was planning on taking you anyway. Yeah? Where's that? To the Gorome Valley in Turkey, beyond the Anatolian Mountains. Turkey? Mm-hmm. For many years now, I've been tracking the whereabouts of a certain individual. And while we were separated, I finally found him. Yeah. Who is this person? The one person who should know everything about Sapientes Gladio. Are you ready? Sapientes Gladio was founded several decades ago by Jovis, a humble priest of the Greek Orthodox Church. At that time, Jovis was doing missionary work with many other volunteers. Well, when he saw the brutality of the colonial policies, he raised his voice against their cruel racism. He made many friends among the commoners there, and even more enemies among the elite. And though they tried to oppress him, they were unable to silence his voice. Ah, uh, but Sapientes Gladio, the group that once walked the path of righteousness, somehow veered off that path, and they became lost. Travel now to the Gorome Valley and find the great sage Jovis, if Anyone knows the secret to Rasputin's power. It's him.
Well, it's been a long time. Yes, well, everyone seems to think that you've come here to kill him. Him? Bishop Jovis. He is their priest, you see. Well, you might even call him their god. So you finally come, the Outlanders who wish to question me. Are you Bishop Jovis? Yes. We came here from Russia. We want to find out what you can tell us about Sapientes Gladio and their leader, Rasputin. <sighs> I've washed my hands of them completely. We were once aligned. Now we're nothing more than enemies. And do you happen to know what Sapientes Gladio, or should I say Rasputin, is planning to do? Some nonsense about stealing a country. It's not nonsense! That's my country you're talking about! <laughs> Listen here! Your friend has ruined my whole life! How dare you call it nonsense! Anastasia... That's... horrible. <sighs> my words were careless. I beg your forgiveness, Princess. Are you blind? Mm-hmm. I can sense only some light, that is all. Oh. Although now, I am able to see many of the things that I could not see when I had my sight. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? When you first set foot into my church, I felt as if an old friend had come to visit. Friend? The God of Wrath's soul that is sealed within you made me feel so. I could sense his presence. What? The God of Wrath's soul? Hmm. His power has also been sealed by that foul mistletoe's curse. You know about that? Hmm... Fate certainly does have its ironies, wouldn't you say? Can't you speak more clearly, old man? I am sorry. I am a bit out of practice, I suppose. I have not met the likes of you since I left the secular life and came here. I think I can answer the questions that you seek. Allow me to tell you about... Rasputin. Hmm. That was when it all began. I was betrayed by my disciple and forsaken by my friend. My friend and I had just taken a young Rasputin as our new disciple. But time passed, 
and soon Rasputin had gained the power he needed to fulfill his ambition. That was when he showed his true self. Recognizing his madness too late, my friend and I tried to fight him. But we were quickly undone by the demonic power he wielded. The two of us were banished, and Rasputin became the new leader. He has made a soul pact with the king of demons, Asmodeus. That is what shields him and protects his mortal flesh. A soul pact? When a person sacrifices his very soul in exchange for unearthly power. Is that really possible? It is. If one possesses great knowledge and willpower. I am afraid that's exactly what Rasputin learned from us. So you're saying that he possesses the power of Asmodeus? Hmm. Maybe he thought he was strong enough, but at some point, well, while unaware, his soul was devoured by Asmodeus. And now that demon within him seeks the destruction of this very world. Isn't there any way to stop Rasputin? A power equal to Asmodeus could break through his shield. Power like that? Where would we find it? Within the heart of this young man. Huh? Me? To stop the madness of Rasputin. And our former organization. My friend fought to change the future of the entire world. His plan was to summon a god that would shake the earth and shatter the skies. When I saw his plan would reorder the nature of the world, I became fearful. Hey now, wait a minute. My friend lost his confidence in me. And in order to battle Asmodeus, he made a soul pact with the most powerful demon he could find. Yes. The God of Wrath, Amon. But the soul of Amon is now sealed within you. Why is this so? Because you defeated my friend and conquered the will of Amon. And so when the god which was summoned turned to light and was crushed by you, my friend's soul disappeared within you as well. Hey, old man. That friend of yours... Cardinal Albert Simon. Only the fallen angel Astaroth and the god of wrath Amon have the power to resist Asmodeus. <gasps> if you want to resurrect that power, you must first pass a trial. A trial? 
You must search for Amon, buried somewhere within you. But how? The mistletoe extinguishes your powers. The more you resist, the more the curse inside of you will eat into your very soul. There is a limit to how much even the strongest of wills can endure. And what if I can't endure? You will go permanently insane. <laughs> yeah, right. Good one, old man. <laughs> yeah. Give me a break. You need not go alone. I will come with you. It will be a most perilous journey, my young friend. You? Amon is a powerful foe. I think you know that far better than I do. Father! Huh? Let me take your place. I'll be the one to go with him. Uh, uh, Karen! You know that failure means death. That's fine. Hmm. It shall be. Now then, come with me. Give it up. Oh, come on, it's too late. Yeah, but Karen, you don't really want to see the inside of my heart. Something embarrassing there? Bite me. Maybe you just wanted to hold hands with the old man. Bite me. Insulataki, insukuntafa, antaibadonuya by Shawa!
That's that, I guess. Always been this scary. Come on, don't be such a wimp. I don't know my own strength. Uh. 
Albert. I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah. Nice place, isn't it? It's so very quiet and serene. A place of pure peace. Hmm. It's quite beautiful. It's your home within you. It is, in fact, your true home. My home? Yes. I live in a small corner of your memory, one that you've nearly forgotten. So tell me, are you still fighting these days, young man? I guess so. It was Rasputin that I was actually after. He was my true enemy. Huh. It is ironic that you, my former foe, should now be the one fighting him. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Imagine me following in your footsteps. But... The way I am now, I don't think I can win. For Asmodeus, who spreads hate and malice among men, there is no greater joy than to see mankind slaughter each other. Order will be broken apart, and chaos set in its place. That is the future that Rasputin seeks, my friend. That's what you were trying to prevent him from doing. And it's my fault he's made it this far, is that right? It's true. But don't be discouraged. You defeated me, and managed to expel a god. You may still be able to change the future, if you can harness Amon's power. Yeah, maybe you're right. But is this future I can create going to be a good one? So are you questioning the worthiness of your struggle? Well, the thing is, I'm sure you'd have a better chance than I would. You're wrong. Only you can do it, Yuri. That's what I think. Those who would wield power must also accept power's responsibility. If you see a tragedy in the making, my friend, it is your responsibility to try and stop it. There is no mistake in that. Albert. Well, it's time for you to leave. Well, I am... Um, I'm glad we got the chance to talk. Yuri, may I ask you one thing? What? Where is this? I think it must be Japan. It's Katsuragi. It's called the Forest of Wind. Hmm. Thank you. I see. So Japan has accepted our conditions. Yes, Master. You have done well. I'm very pleased I entrusted the matter to you, my friend. Thank you, Master. Ah. 
Russia is losing this war because lack of food and arms have devastated the morale of our frontline troops. We have the money, but unfortunately we do not have the supplies. I know. But soon now, Japan is going to begin a major offensive against the German Empire. Hmm. Yesterday's enemy is today's friend, eh? Ishimura is no fool. Has that special envoy left Petrograd yet? No, Master. In fact, we have requested his presence at the banquet. Mm hmm. Very well. Now, what do you know about America? They're still officially maintaining their neutrality, but it's only a matter of time before they enter the war. How can you be so sure? England and France are both exhausted. The only reason America has not yet entered the war is that they needed a proper pretense. Hmm. And now they have such a pretense, Nikolai? Next week, a ship named the Lusitania is leaving New York bound for Liverpool. There's a rumor going around that it will be carrying a huge shipment of munitions. The German submariners will be forced to sink it, isn't that so? It will be England's sacrificial lamb. Clever. By the way, Nikolai. Sir? Is it true that Lenny was killed on St. Marguerite? Yes, Master. I don't understand why you didn't stay and fight. Uh, uh, I, I thought Lenny could handle matters himself. I see. But you knew how powerful he was, right? But still you sent Lenny alone to do battle with him. Yes. Well, I'm off to the celebration. I'm certain he'll show up again. Next time, Nikolai, you'll know what to do. Yes, Master. Very well. So here you are. How's the bishop? He's still sleeping. The old guy may never wake up. Don't say things like that. What a pretty sunset. I guess. Are you feeling guilty? Look at all of them. Everyone praying as hard as they can so the bishop will be all right. He's an important man. If I hadn't come here, this valley would still be a nice, peaceful place. But then we couldn't save Russia. Think of Anastasia's family. It's your own mother's homeland. These guys deserve to be saved too. You're right. Everyone wants the same thing. To be just a little happier than they are now. Nothing big. Just food, shelter, and time to laugh and cry with the people they love.
That's enough to make them happy. Happy? What does that even mean? Bishop Jovis! I am happy to see you. Are you all right? Yes. We met Amon So like you told us to. We met your friend, too. Was he doing well? Yeah. He's having a great time. Oh, is that right? You see? Nothing to worry about. Just rest and get your strength back. No. This is the end for me. You mustn't say that. Yeah, come on. What would the people in this valley do here without you? That is for my followers to say, children. I have taught them everything that I can. Don't say that. Listen. The Dark Angel, Astaroth. Astaroth? Like Asmodeus, and Amon, he is another god of darkness. Someone has made a soul pact with him. I don't know who this person is, but when you meet them, beware. I can handle it. I'll drop him, just like a bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop Jovis. Please. Forgive me. I swear to God, I didn't mean it. I never meant to sacrifice the people of this valley to save Russia. I hate it. When people... Let others die just to get what they want. Listen to me. If, with my death, the people lose all hope, then my life has been in vain. But if I had someone to succeed me, I know that the valley would survive. <sighs> then, for the first time, it could be said that I live on among my people. Don't you think so? Jovis. Uh, my son. He who has willpower has the power to change the whole world. Whether that change be for good or for evil depends on the heart of that person. We're mortal. We live in fear and... Uh, and doubt. There's no shame in admitting that. <laughs> when Albert died, he passed the world on to you, didn't he? In your hands. Go to Russia. Only you have the power to save the young princess. I swear it. I swear I'll beat Rasputin. When he's dead, I'll come back. Don't die on me. I'll try. Yuri! Brave soul. He takes upon himself the burden my friend and I bore together. Now 
I have finally fulfilled my promise. Now I can face my friend. Bishop? Please give him my thanks. That day, Petrograd held a glorious celebration. A victory parade for the Tsar returning from his tour of the Eastern Front. Although much love for him was lost on that bloody Sunday of a decade ago. On this day, the people raised their voices in celebration of their Tsar. But like a candle burning more brightly the moment before it is snuffed out, it was glory tinged with tragedy. How on earth am I supposed to go to the banquet without even knowing if Anastasia is all right? What are you saying? But this is an important night for you. No, for all of Russia. Nothing is more important to me than the safety of my children. You must relax. Grigory is pressuring Edgar for more information about his co-conspirators. Aren't you even worried? Your beautiful daughter was kidnapped. Besides... Edgar treated Anastasia as his very own granddaughter. I can't believe he would be involved. But I saw it with my very own eyes. Those ruffians Edgar brought here were controlling Anastasia. She almost killed Alexei with a knife. Yes, you've told me that many times. When this banquet is over, I'm going to question Edgar myself. There's no need, Your Majesty. No. Oh. Rasputin, have you found anything? Yes. Tell me, Grigori. He was very tight-lipped, but I used hypnotism to learn of his companions. They're an organization intent on taking the life of the Tsar and his family. What? Is this true? Yes. Among them is a German noblewoman. She has strong military connections, so this may be part of an attempted coup. My cousin Wilhelm. Relax, Your Majesty. Surely it is our enemy's intention to shake the confidence of the Tsar. But how? Just attend the ball as if nothing is amiss. We must show the rest of the world the greatness and composure of Russia. Hmm. Lord Grigori is exactly right. All the security for His Majesty and the royal family has been taken care of. Very well. You're so wise, my lord. Oh dear.
Noblemen of Russia, greetings. After having visited our young troops on the front line, one thing I can say to you with complete confidence is that the brave soldiers of the Russian army march on the road to a total and complete victory. Well, everyone, in celebration of the victory to come and the eternal empire of Russia, let us wine, dine, and dance! What a fool I've been. Anastasia! <sighs> you... You're alive, Princess Anastasia. We were so worried. Hey, step back. Thanks for worrying, Mr. Rasputin. As you can see, I'm quite well. Princess Anastasia has returned. And welcome home, Daddy! But... but how? I had a great adventure with these folk. We visited foreign lands, and saw all sorts of strange and wonderful things. <laughs> oh, is that right? These are the pictures I took. It's a present for you, Daddy. Well, didn't I do a good job? That last one almost cost me my life. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I see. You did a very good job. My lord. Hmm? What about these rogues? Oh, yes, thank you. Leave them to me, your majesty. Someone here has plotted to kill me, Tsar Nicholas of Russia, and my family. And that someone is... My counselor, Grigory Rasputin. My lord, what do you mean? You can drop the pretense. My daughter has brought proof of your treachery. This photograph here proves it. Hm. Hmm? <gasps> Why, you... <gasps> Don't move. Let her go. This is between you and me now. You'll pay. Mm. What? Lord Rasputin, now's your chance. Guards, after them! Oh, Anastasia. 
It's all right. Everything's fine now. My lord. Say nothing. I understand. Idle hands are the devil's tools. I wish to thank you. It's fine. But it's not over yet. We need to get somewhere safe. <laughs> I guess he's here. Father, mother, find some place safe. Let's go, Yuri. We're going? What about the palace? <laughs> Come on! We've got to find a way to save this country! <laughs> Anastasia! Oh, man. I'll protect the princess. Don't you worry. I'm counting on you. Oh. My, could Anastasia be their leader? I... I think she might be.
Where's my apology? Veronica is dead. I see. You may leave now. By morning, Petrograd will be reduced to ashes. Do you have plans after that? No, I couldn't care less. Soon my demon servants will bring death to all of Europe. After that, Asia. And finally, we will destroy America. Have your goals changed so much, Master? Goals? <laughs> I have no goals. There's no longer any need to rush. One hundred years, two hundred years, it doesn't matter at all. Time doesn't matter at all. What's wrong? You should be happy. You no longer have to toil in the dark like a thief. You'll soon have revenge. After my mother died and I was orphaned, it was you who had the Vatican accept me, Master. I have done my best since then to try to repay that debt. Yes, is that so? A sad story, but what of it? I saved you to use as my tool, not because I had any love for you. So you have no desire to rebuild Russia? After all the effort you spent in destroying her? Irrelevant. Why would I ever concern myself with such paltry matters? You were to succeed to the throne of Russia and become king of all Europe. What about those plans? You really are dense. I've disposed of such petty human concerns. For me, snuffing out human life is nothing more than an amusement. You've been possessed by Asmodeus. Why did you come here? Was it to anger me? Your little plan, I've known of it for a long time. To kill me after I become Emperor, you were planning on making yourself the new Tsar instead. Isn't that right? Yes. It is true I am merely a bastard son. But it is still my right to inherit the kingdom. <laughs> Who will believe you? My father. So it's revenge for your mother, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fool. Hmm? I came here to tell you something that you should already know. What is that? I'm more certain now than ever. I asked what it is! You cannot defeat Yuri. Ah, very well. And what makes you say that? He's just a human. A human, but he conquered Amon's soul. Do you understand what that means? His willpower is simply extraordinary. 
Extraordinary, you say? The willpower of a human and the destructive power of a demon. It's those two things that make him worthy of his name, Godslayer. You may have the power of a demon, but your will is weak, and that is why you cannot win. Interesting. And you think that you can win? Yes. Why are you so sure? What do you really think a puny human like you can do, huh? Oh, I see. So that's it. So, you finally understand. <laughs> Good. So my true enemy was right here with me all along. We'll settle things between us later. But first, we'll have the Godslayer as a blood offering. Oh, <laughs> 
All we can do is go forward.
justice is always victorious. Times stronger than you. <laughs> Albert A. The mistletoe was supposed to be used to defeat him. Do you know what the true horror of the mistletoe is? The mistletoe doesn't simply steal away a person's life. It kills the soul by stealing a person's thoughts, will, and memory. What? Kills the soul? <laughs> Just as Nikolai said, your most powerful weapon is your human willpower. But with each moment that passes, your soul slowly fades away. Still living, you will become a hollow person. Your personality will be stolen away, and you will live on as an empty shell. For a man such as you, it will be a fate far worse than death. How do we stop the curse? You can't. Liar! It's true. That's why it was our final weapon against Albert Simon. I won't. I won't change. There's nothing you can do. Your will to resist will soon be gone. I'll tell you one more thing before I die. What? Nikolai is headed to the Vatican. The Vatican? To a point on tower. He plans to release the malice locked in the tower. What's that now? Go on. Go and finish, Nikolai. Then you'll see how pointless your struggle really is. <laughs> So he's won. Very well, Godslayer. Come here. I'm waiting for you. It's been a long time. Rasputin is dead now. Yes, I know. But what of it? He was never your true enemy anyway. Nikolai, what are you trying to accomplish? What are you after?
This vault is filled to overflowing with the hatred, malice, and despair of the countless souls who have perished here. What if all that malice were to be suddenly released? Yeah, what if? It would creep into the hearts of people all over the world. All their petty, paltry vices would become magnified, warped into bitterness, anger, and envy. Don't you see? Men will slaughter each other like cattle to get ahead. Yes, the 21st century will be a time of unprecedented conflict and bloodshed. How can you? Very easily. Do you think you can stop me? Yeah. <laughs> what I want to do is to crush you. The man who beat Cardinal Albert Simon. Who endured the mistletoe's curse. Who refused to bend before Rasputin. If I can't destroy you, I'll never be able to forgive myself. <laughs> Behold! Aren't they beautiful? Perfect balls of negative energy. God Slayer! Pandora's box has been reopened! These unfettered bundles of malice will infect the world forever! <laughs> You can try your best, but no matter how much you fight, the Age of Darkness is nigh! Best! Come on!
man's road is a hard one. suppose that I am beaten, even with the power of Astaroth. Time uh. uh. to finish it. Kato. In the name of the Emperor, I'm taking this man under my protection. I do not wish to fight you. Please leave. No way. If this man is truly next in line to the Tsardom of Russia, then as an allied country, we cannot simply let you kill him. <sighs> Look at those. Do you have any idea what those are going to do? It was you who let it happen. <laughs> the malice is already invading the people's hearts. It's too late for them. Taking this person's life is not going to change anything. Stay out of this. Yuri! I'm going back to the capital. Your war is over now. Look for another way to live. Farewell. <laughs>